guys welcome back to my channel so I wanted to do another video in relation to my wedding ready series that I have here on my channel if you guys haven't already seen I have a full playlist full of wedding tips I vlogged my wedding well some of it most of it um, I talked about how I got my bridesmaids dresses how I did my own flowers basically I did pretty much the entire wedding myself so if you wanted to follow that journey and if you're a bride on a budget like I was um, I found my venue through Airbnb I basically just have a bunch of tips that will help other brides out there if you're trying to do things yourself and today's video is a little bit more of a fun one less talking about stressful things about the wedding it's more about fun things basically my wedding accessories so I know I've had a lot of questions on my social media platforms and direct messages on my email about what I wore for my wedding where I got my accessories my veil my dress my shoes everything like that um, if you guys have kind of already watched and follow along the process you might know a lot of these answers but I thought I would go over them again just, just because I wanted to go into more detail about where I got the things and the quality if they lasted if I would recommend you guys purchasing one of them um, how they lasted throughout the wedding and things like that so yeah if you haven't already please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like these and hit the like button if you like this video and yeah let's go ahead and get started so the very first thing that I wanted to talk about is my veil so I actually have my veil right here it's probably not the proper way to hang a veil but it's really long I got the longest length possible I got a cathedral veil and yeah this is how I hung it I don't know why my mom hung it on like a random um, hanger like this that has the top broken off but yeah basically it's just hanging right here on my clothes rack because I'm not sure how to store it yet um, or what I'm even storing my dress in I haven't preserved it but basically this is the veil of my dreams it is perfection so I wanted to talk a little bit more in depth about how I came to find this veil and basically just the veil shopping process because like I said in the beginning of the video I was on a budget so I didn't just want to go into a wedding dress shop where I got my dress or another wedding dress shop and pick up the first veil that matched my dress because if I had done that I would have spent probably 600 to I don't even know $1,200 on a cathedral veil if you guys don't know what a cathedral veil is it's basically the longest I believe it's the longest veil you can get um, that's kind of like standard sizing I'm sure you could custom make a longer veil but it is one that was longer than my dress it was super super long and I just wanted like that dramatic effect um, my dress is hanging right there behind me as you can see and my dress if you guys have seen on my Instagram and in my vlog um, it is very um, I don't want to say princessy but it is I basically wanted to go all out with my wedding dress which I'll get to later um, but because of that I wanted the veil to match so I didn't want to get like a short veil you know like shoulder length or something like that just because I feel like the dress was so like majestic and kind of over the top not quite over the top but it was pretty um, big and had a really full skirt that I wanted the veil to mimic it so since I wanted a really long veil I was gonna spend a pretty penny on getting a veil that was long enough to match my dress with the right kind of beading that would match my dress so if you guys have been following my vlogs for the past year you'll know that I've gone through a few veils and returned them um, I started looking on Amazon Prime because or Amazon in general um, because I think sometimes in my head I don't think this anymore but at this time last year when I was looking for a veil I was like you can get anything on Amazon Prime because I get my eyelashes on there I get my makeup I get toilet paper I'm just like one of those people that thinks that I can deliver anything to my house um, I don't ever want to step foot in a store I know that sounds so lazy but it just gives me anxiety so especially bridal stores that have veils for six hundred to a thousand dollars like that's just crazy for a tool and lace and beading like what in the heck you're only gonna wear that once I mean I understand spending money on a dress but a veil that you don't even wear the entire event you wear it for like 20 minutes and pictures so I don't know I was not about to spend that because it just wasn't really worth it to me and a lot of brides don't even have veils so anyways I went into a lot of different wedding dress shops and I discovered that they were around that price and I was like oh no thank you you know I'm not interested in looking for a veil today and then I was like I'm gonna get one online so I went on Amazon Prime I will try and link the footage if I still have it or I will link the vlog below where I tried on the Amazon veil that was shipped from China because because a lot of things are shipped from China and made in China on Amazon but it doesn't always mean the quality is bad but in this case the quality was terrible um, the veil I didn't know that there were different types of tool as you guys can tell here this is a really nice thin 
um, I don't even know how to describe tool in the right way, but it doesn't look cheap basically. Um, you guys freaked out when I tried on the Amazon Prime veil. Um, it was like the Amazon Prime debate and you guys were like, hey Lee, that looks like a Halloween costume. Um, if you can imagine if you wanted to be like Princess, not Princess Bride, but like the Bride of Chucky or something, that Halloween costume, you know how you get veils from like Halloween shops. It has the same tool as that. It's like crinkly. It feels like it has hairspray on it. Um, it doesn't lay nicely. There's a bunch of creases in it. Lace on the bottom of it was all jagged. It didn't match up. There was no beadwork and it was crap and it was $30. So what do I want? But I thought, hey, I can return it. So I returned it and I actually got a email from the owner of an Etsy shop. She watched that vlog or I'm not sure how she found my video, but it is from the shop Blanca Veils, and I will leave all of her information below along with her Etsy shop. And she said, Haley, do not get that Amazon Prime veil. Return it, and I can send you another veil. So I'm so thankful that she reached out to me because I don't know what I would have done. I probably would have just spent money and got an expensive veil, which is dumb, because her veil is everything I could have wanted. It's beautiful, and honestly, it looks better than the ones in the wedding shops. And I forget exactly how much it was, but it was under $100. So that is an insane price for a cathedral veil. If you guys are brides and you are shopping around for a really long veil, you'll know that you're going to end up spending a lot of money if you want to buy in store. You can also customize any kind of veil that you want on her shop. Um, she offers swatches sent to your house if you want to um, get some. She sent me swatches of the tool colors, the different types of tool, um, the lace colors, the different types of lace, and I actually had my mom and dad help me pick out the exact lace that would match my wedding dress in the back um, and I got this kind of lace and I got beadwork done um, it just has little like sequins on it and it's gorgeous I love it so much I love how the lace isn't too big um, because I didn't want it to look like a Catholic wedding and I'm totally not knocking that look um, if you guys know what I'm talking about you'll know what I'm talking about but I didn't want like a super big like mantilla lace right by my face I wanted to be a little bit more subtle since my dress was so like bam in your face and I totally got that with this veil not to mention um, the one on Amazon Prime I'm not sure if it came with a clip but at Blanca Veils, she sews in a really nice, sturdy clip. It did not come off the entire wedding. Um, I actually was clipping it in wrong, so that was annoying because I should have looked up how to clip in a veil because I obviously haven't been in that many, I've been in one wedding or two, and I wasn't paying attention to the bride's veil, especially if you have a really long veil. You're supposed to go up and down, and I was just sticking it straight down so it was falling out. Luckily, I had extensions to hold it in, uh, but my photographer told me how to do it finally, so it didn't keep coming off. But yeah, the clip is super sturdy it'll hold into your hair um, and I believe that she makes her veils and you can order them within I think three to four weeks of your wedding so that is really good considering sometimes you have to order veils and it takes months just like your dress so the next accessory I wanted to talk about were my shoes and I showed them on the vlog but I wanted to talk a little bit more about wedding shoes because oh boy okay so these are the shoes look at the heel like kill me now these are Badgley Mishka shoes I want to just murder myself for letting this happen. This grass stain, dirt stain happened to my suede, or not suede, velvet looking, I don't know what material this is, velvet heel. Um, I should have gotten those heel like plastic things, but I just, there's too many things to think about. I barely wore these things. I mean, I changed into flip flops because you could not see my feet. My dress was huge and also I was pregnant. So I just degaffed a lot of the things for the wedding because I I don't know I was in my second trimester and I did not feel pressure to like be perfect which is a good thing but yeah um and also it was just my close friends and family so all the bridesmaids switched into like regular you know flat shoes I think most of them um so yeah I only really wore these for pictures and I had them you know I had photographer take pictures of them but these are gorgeous I love them um they're like the I think these are the lavender 2 pump from Badgley Mishka and I got them from off Saks Fifth Avenue because they have the best deals on shoes ever it's like the only place I shop for shoes because you can get designer ones at discount prices um, and no, that sounded sponsored, but it's definitely not sponsored by Off Sex Fifth, I wish. Um, but yeah, these were really comfortable. They're, they're not too tall and they didn't make my feet hurt or anything like that. Um, the only thing I would say is they were kind of expensive. So if you're on a budget and you really can't see your shoes, um, you know, like underneath your dress, why spend the money? Honestly, like I would rather have spent this money on more makeup for myself or, um, 
basically just more makeup that's the only thing I can think of that I would want but yeah so I wouldn't recommend spending a ton of money on shoes unless you have a shorter dress or your dress shows your shoes a lot or unless you're just a shoe person I'm not personally a shoe person I don't really care about my shoes as much as my handbags so yeah I love these but I'm wondering if I could remove this stain or take it to a shoe place or something because that's really unfortunate but yeah, they already look kind of beat up and I've only worn them once, but they were pretty. So the next thing that I got a lot of questions about was my dress. Um, I only went to a few dress shops. I thought I would be that person after watching Say Yes to the Dress, the like all of the seasons known to mankind with my mom years ago, that I thought I would have to go to, I don't know, 100 different boutiques before I found the dress. But thank the Lord, I only went to a few shops and found my dress because I know myself and I'm just so picky. And I'm also really thankful that I ended up liking my dress because as you guys know, you have to order your dress months before and my mind changes so much. I'm like the most indecisive person ever. Ever, hence my hair color change four different times this year um, that I thought oh god I hope I still like my dress like you know right before the wedding since you pick it a year before but I did still really like it so I'm thankful for that uh, the first dress place I went to I didn't really like anything it was in downtown LA and it was at the designers actual boutiques there's a lot of pressure to like all of his dresses because he was the one there um, and they just weren't wowing me and they were also very expensive most dresses are my budget was under two thousand dollars and Doug and I paid for my own dress so I wasn't about to be like oh let's just go for a five thousand dollar dress and you know someone else could pay for it or I don't really care and I feel like I should spend that much money I'm not like that at all um, I just feel like you wear it for one day and yes it's very important but other things are more important to me like buying a house one day things like that um, so I definitely have other priorities other than you know my perfect wedding dress costing as much as a car um, so I wanted to stick to under two thousand dollars so at first I told them a thousand and then I like crept my way up so I didn't want to start at two and then them give me a three thousand dollar dress and I'm just like why like now I love it so yeah I went to David's bridal which I hated every single dress that I tried on I don't know why just they look bad on me then I went to Alfred Angelo which is another chain I just felt like their quality wasn't as good as some more boutique -y stores and then the place that I picked up my dress I think it was like the third or fourth store I went to was Bella Bridal and they are a chain store but I would consider them to be a little bit higher of an end chain store they have more of a unique factor when it comes to their dresses they're not like super standard you know a-line strapless sweetheart neck which is kind of what I got but definitely it does not look standard um, in my opinion and yeah they have like all kinds of dresses and I would definitely recommend going to one of their stores I think they're in a few places throughout the US so I will link them below if you guys are interested and to see if there's one in your area so yeah I tried on three dresses and I was kind of going in between one and then this one the other one I don't know what I was thinking I'll try and insert a picture um, I took a picture on my phone and then looking back I'm like what was I thinking I hate it now thank god I still like this one but it was like a slight off the shoulder really white dress that was just a line and looking back it was not even comparable to the one I ended up wearing thank god okay so this is my dress this is the top it is dirty because it has like I don't know if that's leftover fake tan or what but basically I am obsessed with it it is a more of a plunging sweetheart neckline so I was afraid that like my cleavage would show because I just got my boobs done like a few months ago and it definitely did but I had a lot of extensions and I decided to wear my hair down so it wouldn't be super revealing so I'm kind of more I mean I know I talk about getting breast augmentations but I'm very like conservative when it comes to what I wear except for this day I don't know what happened but anyways yeah so this is the top of the dress it's really all I can show you because the bottom is all over the floor because it's super big. I love that it has like a gathering beaded bit at the belt. Um, and it's funny because I don't know if I mentioned this, but I had to get a corset put into the back of it from a tailor because I had a zipper before. And I was supposed to lose about five pounds for it to fit comfortably and then I got pregnant. So yeah, luckily you couldn't really see my baby bump. I mean, I'm not like ashamed of it, but on my wedding day I didn't want it to look like I was six months pregnant but yeah the back had like a lace-up corset as you guys can see but I can't really lace it up for you guys right now um, and I love it it has like a really long train I had the tailor like bustle the back and it's my dream dress I seriously die for this dress it's perfect so the next thing I wanted to talk about is my jewelry I wanted to be super minimal with it because 
I didn't want anything to take away from the dress slash I didn't want to add more excess since the dress was so over the I mean it wasn't so over the top but it was very big so I wanted to keep it super minimal so I actually just wore um, on my right hand I wore these gold rings they are from the brand Mercy Ma'am no Maman, I think that's how you say it. I will link it below. And I've been wearing these every single day since. I wore them on my honeymoon. They're real gold. They're amazing. Um, and I'm not sure the exact like kind of it, but they are made, I believe, in London. And these were sent to me, so I will link them below if you guys are interested. But I feel like they go so well with the necklace I always wear and the necklace I did wear um, on my wedding day. But I basically ordered three little gold rings. The first one is a heart and it says D, and then the second one's a circle and it's an and, and the third one is a butterfly, which is an H. And they're really just like simple, plain gold rings. They didn't take away from my like engagement ring or anything. And then for my engagement band, I just have like a regular, um, I'm not sure what the exact style is, but it basically just matches my wedding ring or my engagement ring. Um, and it just has like diamonds, like half eternity. So not full all the way around the band, um, just like half of it. So yeah, that's what I wore. And then my necklace is the one I always wear from Swell Caroline. And then my bracelet is also gold because I love gold jewelry, especially when, especially because I had a fake tan that day. But basically um, this just has a little tiny H on it and it's from the brand Zoe Chico, I believe, and I believe that link below, but it is real gold as well. So I tried to wear like, actually I did wear all real things because I wanted to, I don't know, I wanted to be able to preserve the jewelry as long as I could and not wear cheap things. Um, my earrings, I'm not wearing them today. These are Mrs. Earrings from Kate Spade, but I wore little pearls um, that my mom got me a while ago. And then the last thing I wore, I already mentioned in my wedding hair and makeup tutorial that I did when my hair was blonde, which was a mistake, but it looks so much better on brown hair. As you guys can tell, you can actually see it. But this is a um, bridal head crown, or it's like a head piece um, from an Etsy shop. And I will leave the link below. I think it's called A Bit of Love TV, or that's the Instagram, but I will leave the exact link below. And, um, you know where I got it and all the details I got it in the gold one you can get it in a silver one but I thought the gold one it was more me and went more with my accessories and things like that so yeah all together I thought it was very um, feminine and delicate I didn't want to go too overboard I wanted to initially get a flower crown like a real flower crown but I just didn't feel like it went with my like a-line ball gown dress so I tried to be more classy with it and get like a pearl and crystal headpiece so yeah, that's it for my bridal or wedding accessories. If you guys like this video, then please give it a thumbs up below and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And yeah, if you have any questions or if I forgot something and you still want to know, please leave them in the comments below and I will get back to you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're in the car. I woke Doug up pretty early. Pretty early for after a drift event. Yeah, he went drifting.